All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you had a lovely and relaxing spring break. And now we are on the home stretch to the end of the year. So let's jump in. We'll get to it. And what I'm going to show you guys today is really simple. It's how we name acids and bases, and really, mostly how we just name acids. Because naming bases is very simple. Now here's how we're going to do this. We'll get to bases in a little bit. They're really simple. We're going to break up acids into two types. What we're going to call binary acids versus what we're going to call oxy acids. Binary acids are just like they sound. There's two things, hydrogen and something else. That's it. Hydrogen and something else. Hydrogen and something else. You guys get the idea. Okay? What's cool about binary acids is that they're really simple. And here's how this works. When we have a binary acid, we're simply going to start with the prefix hydro. And this goes oops, on to all binary acids. Okay? So anytime you have a binary acid that is two things, hydrogen and something else, it gets this hydro prefix. So if we were looking at, for example, this guy, HCl, Obviously, hydrogen, and this guy is called chlorine. You guys know that. We're simply going to take the ending to chlorine and change it to ide. And we'll take our hydro prefix, excuse me, not chloride. And we'll change the ending from chlorine to chloric. So that means we're going to take this whole acid. We're going to start with the hydro prefix and add our modified ion chlorine to chloric. That's all you do. Here's this guy. HBr. We'll take our hydro prefix because it is a binary acid. We'll take what was bromine and we're going to remove the ene and change it to ick. And so now our uh, complete acid is now hydrobromic. Okay? Don't get fooled if it's one that looks like this. It's still a binary. It only has two things, hydrogen and, in this case, sulfur. So it's hard to change the ending of sulfur, so we're simply going to add that ick, sulfuric, to this. So this will be hydrosulfuric acid. Okay? That takes care of binaries. Uh, if it's going to ask you to go the other way, for example, let's say it was going to ask you to write the formula. Here is hydronitric, let's say. Now it's a binary, and so you know it only has two elements, hydrogen and nitrogen. And this is going to bring us all the way back to writing formulas in Chapter 7. So you know that hydrogen has a charge of plus 1. You know that nitrogen has a charge of minus 3. It's on the back of your periodic table that you all brought home with you. I'm sure you did. If not, I will post it for you. And so we're going to do our little drop and swap. So hydronitric acid would look like this. Okay. Oxy acids are simpler and a little bit more complicated. We call them oxy acids because they contain oxygen. 
but not really. That's a way of saying they contain a polyatomic ion. So your list of polyatomic ions is right here. Okay. All of these guys. All right. So anytime you have a polyatomic ion, that is what we're going to call an oxy acid. Okay. They're real simple. First off, no hydro prefix. So don't even worry about it. All you have to do is find out what the polyatomic ion in it is. So for example, now notice how this is not a binary acid. A binary acid only has two elements. This has three. You know that this is an oxy acid. So we want to find what the name of this polyatomic ion is. That's what this guy is for. So you're looking for a polyatomic ion NO3 right there. Okay, it's called nitrate. So because this polyatomic ion is called nitrate, we're going to name this uh, oxy acid using the fact that this polyatomic ion is nitrate. But here's where things can get a little weird. So I'm going to say something here. And it's going to sound weird. My cat's going to look at me like I just lost my mind. But this is going to help things out a lot. All right. We're going to see. We're going to use this to remember how we name our polyatomic ions when they are in acids. We're going to say, "Oh, I see. You ate. Did you save?" a bite for us sounds weird right the fact that this polyatomic ion ends in eight tells us that we're going to change its name to ic so that means it is now nitric acid okay eight becomes ick now if it looked a little different if it looked like this for example okay hno2 it's still an acid still got h in it but now the polyatomic ion is a little different looking now it looks like no2 right here NO2 is not nitrate. Now it's, sorry, nitrate. That's going to get a different ending. Oh, I see you ate. Did you save a bite for us? Well, because nitrate looks a little different, we're going to change that nitrate to nitrous and now this is nitrous acid okay so not a lot of difficulty involved let's say it was asking you to go the other way let's say it was asking you to take an acid that is clearly an oxy acid and give you the name okay clearly an oxy acid Really not a binary. So we're looking. We know H3, there's three hydrogens, it's an acid. We know we have a polyatomic ion, PO4. Where do I find it? PO4. PO4. Right there. This is called phosphate. So if it was going to ask you to give you the name, no prefix. We're going to call this phosphoric acid. What if it gives you the name and wants you to give you the formula? What if it tells you something like, okay, something like that? 
Uh, let's say that we uh, have the name first, something called oxalic acid. So we're looking for a polyatomic ion that looks like oxal and ends in eight. Right there, oxalate. C2O4, and it has a charge of two minus. So if it was going to ask you for the name, oxalate looks like this. It's got a charge of minus two. Since we're talking acids here and they all have hydrogen, how many hydrogens are we going to need? Well, hydrogen's got a charge of plus one. So a little drop and swap, but you don't need the parentheses when there's only one. Okay? So I'd like you to take this for a spin. If it's going to ask you to name bases, they're all super easy because they all look the same. They all contain hydroxide and whatever the element is. So we don't need to get too weird with naming these. I don't think it's going to ask you to name any of those and what I'm going to ask you to practice because they're all the same. So let's try naming some acids and we'll take a look at the uh, answer key together when I see you next time. Okay, have a good one.